Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is George, and this is SAS Master. Today, we're going to check out Better Docs, which is a WordPress plugin that lets you enable your own knowledge base and a neat and beautiful way for people to contact you. So that's a pretty cool form to do it. So what we're going to do is we're kind of we're going to head on over to my WordPress site and show you what it's capable of. So this is my site, and it's a store that where I sell some lifetime deals. But on the bottom right, you're going to see a little green icon, which can also be customized. And I'm going to click on it, and what it's going to greet you with is a launch base that's already here. So why would you want to do this? Well, first thing about having a knowledge base is to avoid repeated questions from clients. So you don't want to be answering the same question over and over. So you give them a way for them to find the answer, right? So right here, I got a couple of docs that I've created. And if I click on it, it shows you, right? So what is redemption code? And there's right there. What is the defini definition of a lifetime deal? And I got the definition, all right? So they know, for clients who don't know what a lifetime deal is, I'm explaining it there just in case they wanna ask or know. But I also have a way to do a search. So if I click a lifetime and I hit enter, it's gonna show me show every document that includes the lifetime deal or the phrase that you put there. It's gonna find it for you. And people are gonna have an easy way to find the answer. But let's just say they didn't find the answer, right? We have this little ask icon right here so if i click on it we give them a way to contact us now this can't be modified it can't be modified you can change it to something else it doesn't have to be asked it could be questions contact or whatever you want to put like in a phrase there you can put it to whatever you like right and you got the fields right here which is name email subject they can even attach and it'll send and we also have in this little widget is the way it, they went right so it's are they happy are they eh, okay or are they mad right so maybe they didn't get the answer they wanted so they're mad or maybe they're happy with the idea of the notch base or the way they contacted you so you give them that option so you see it's an easy way for them to contact now let's see how easy it is to actually get it going now you're gonna see this right now I'm heading over to my back end of my WordPress site and you can see I got better docs right here installed already here so you can see on the left these are the options and I clicked on getting started first because I want to show you how easy it is to get started and you can see right here that it gives you some steps there's a video explaining overall what better docs does we click next we got the setup page do you want to enable built-in document page so that document page I set it to docs which would be this one right here so you can see it ends with the slug docs so I created that it's created the page for me and it gives them that page if I want so I can enable it or disable it if I just want to use the chat widget over there or if I want to have a page also where they can search the knowledge base maybe it's a huge knowledge base and you want to do this that helps out all right so you got you got enable instance answers if you want you can do next create content so content structure is really easy to get going so first off it's based on category and then the articles from that category so you can see over here on this page we got the category so this one's lifetime deal and the other one is purchase info information and i'm going to make much much more information for this but right now i'm just getting started so you can see we got the the articles right here so these articles are on lifetime deals and these ones on purchase information so that's how they are divided so it's articles and categories and we're going to build one right now don't worry also we can customize the look how the knowledge base looks so right now this is how it looks all right if i had more you can see more widgets right there but you can see we can change the look of this and we can head on over to the customizer i'm gonna open the little customizer really quick so you can see how flexible it is and how much you can customize it now this is the, uh, the wordpress customizer and there's going to be a new section in here which is called better docs there we go this is better docs so it's, we got the docs page see this right here we can change the look maybe the other one is not good for you maybe you don't like it maybe this is more to your liking i mean i like this much better than the other one but what I like about the first one is that they already can see some type of questions already answered. So maybe it's already here what they want. But these look good also. I mean, just search what you want and select it. And you can also customize a lot. You can background image, content area background, content padding, all this. In, all You can change all this, customize all of it. You can see all that customization you can do. So all that's possible. And I'm going to close it and I'm going to leave. I'm not going to customize anything right now. Next thing we have is the extensive option panel. So let's go finalize, head over here to extensive settings. 
and these are the general settings for it. So you can see enable built-in documentation page. We have enabled it. Documentation page slug, like I said, it's docs. So you can see that there. Custom category slug, so this right here, docs category, custom tag slug, you can, you can change them also. Analytics form for everyone, exclude bot analytics. You can say yes or no. You got the layout options right here. Documentation page, you can remove or add anything you want. Single doc, active page, archive page, sorry. Design, we already showed you how the design looks. Short codes, short codes are really useful because let's just say I don't want to use that termination with docs. Maybe I want, I mean, for example, here, I'm using Divi Builder. I have my own site, my own theme customizer. And maybe I just want to grab this code and I want to put it in somewhere in my page. And it's possible doing that. So you can do the category grids if I want. And let's actually do it right now. So let's head on over to my main site. I'm going to enable. All right. So there we go. Now it's loaded. And let's just say, you know what? I want to put an area right here. My new one. Regular. And if you had Gutenberg, you just use the HTML uh, section. In this case, I'm going to use code. I'm going to put that short code. Hit that little check mark and let's wait for it to load. And there it is. In my page, I inserted that short code and it's working. See that? Easy, straightforward. I'm going to exit. I'm going to discard it. But did you see how easy that was? And we can do this with short codes. Now, in this case, I added the categories grid. It can be categories box, search form, or feedback form. All that's there. Advanced settings. Who can write articles and settings? In this case, it's only set to admin. Admin, But if you had writers or bloggers that you want to give them access to create information, well, you can add the, the um, privileges there. And we add also the instant answers. Enable or disable, enable AI preview. Initial content settings, it's going to be obviously pulled from docs, but we can do docs category. We can select the docs, which will be the first one. Instead of just showing by default how it's written, you can do that. Chat settings, spaces, appearance settings, all this is customizable. Color settings, remember I told you we can change colors. Maybe green is not based on your site. Well, you can customize all this. Cross domain settings, so if you're using another domain, you can put this short code in that domain and it's going to start working. All right, so let's get to the fun part. Let's actually create a category. In this case, we're just going to think of something up really quick and fast. You can see my categories that are right here. And I'm going to say uh, WordPress. All right. And the slug will be WordPress. I'm going to keep this icon, but I can change it. In this case, I'll just keep it for right now. I can set a description and can go further with this. All right. So once you have the categories, now you can create the articles. So let's go to all articles. You can add new, but we'll just go to all articles. Much be faster. And you can see we got the categories right here. In this case, I created WordPress. So I'm going to click plus. And it's already gonna, it's gonna know that I'm creating an article for this category. So in this case, let's wait for it to load. We got the title. So is what is a WordPress plugin? All right. And here we can write the article. We have all these available options from Gutenberg and whatever you have available here. So WooCommerce, Jetpack. So you could, for example. Uh, WordPress is a plugin and blah, 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 right? I'm not going to do it right now. I can click enter. And for example, I can insert an image. I can insert a gallery. In this case, I'll just media gallery. I just want to show you how that looks. All right. It's just something from my articles right here. I'll just grab this. I'll select it. Let's wait for it to load. There it is. Let's publish it. And remember, we created a category and we created an article. There we go. It's published. So let's refresh our site right here. And now we should have that article. So what is a WordPress plugin? I'm going to click on it and there it is. This is what I wrote and there's the image. See how, see how easy and straightforward that is. Now imagine you have a whole bunch of tutorial videos. Well, you can put that inside here in your documents and it's going to be an easy form for people to get the answer really fast without having to contact you. I mean, the less time you spend repeat answering repeated messages, it's money saved. Trust me. Well, guys, this is better docs. I hope you got a feel of what you can do. And it's really fast to create. I mean, 
If you guys want to grab the deal, the link will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more, but it helps me out with a small commission to create videos for you guys. All right, guys. My name is George. This is Assmaster, and I'll see you guys later.